Bless the Lord, brothers and sisters. So happy to be back in again. I thank God for you tuning in. This is going to be a classic video that I'm going to upload because uh, I just watched it today, you know, and it's pretty classic. It's pretty timeless. It's pretty right on time. Um, and I just thought that in this uh, sick world that we're living in where anything goes and where you are in the pulpit living a lifestyle that is unpleasing to God, uh, we need to talk about this. And a lot of Christians around the world, just let's face it, so tolerant to a lot of things. And even if it was our very own pastor, uh, we would still support. We would still go to the churches, even though we know that they were in error according to their lifestyle. Check this out. God will give us dreams that are very, very short, but very, very powerful. We have to pay attention to our dreams, brothers and sisters. Okay, so in this dream, I wake up and all of a sudden, everything and everyone and everywhere around me was rainbows. I saw rainbows. And I'm not talking about rainbows in the sky that God gives us, those divine rainbows from heaven. I'm not talking about rainbows, brothers and sisters. I'm talking about symbolic homosexual rainbows that, <laughs> I did it. I, I, we got to go there, brothers and sisters. Either you're going to stand up for Jesus Christ or you're going to stand up for Satan. And I'm standing up for Jesus Christ. Do I love the homosexual? homosexual? Do I love the lesbian? Absolutely. I have a homosexual in my, in my family. I love him very much. However, I don't love the lifestyle. And God is raising up a people that are in the body of Christ that are saying, oh yeah, we believe this, we believe that, but yet are going to homosexual weddings. All right on with LGBTs and all of that satanic crap. I said it, I said it, I did. Samantha Hicks is my name, I said it. Why? Because I have to have an account. Everything's being recorded. Like I'm doing this recording right now, everything I say and do is being recorded. Now you may say to yourself, well, she's not tolerable and this, this and this, this and that. And Christians are not, to you know, they, they say they love everyone, but they're not, but guess what? There are many Christians out there that are ministering to homosexuals, that are loving, that are willing to pray for them, that are willing to, to, to open up the Bible, open up the word and share the good news with them. Isn't that being tolerable? Isn't that being loving? There's a lot of hope. There's a lot of uh, Christians out there, true believers in the body of Christ, warriors that are praying and warring on their behalf pr in prayer for their deliverance. Amen. So don't ever think and don't go to the mainstream of the way the world is, is saying that a lot of uh, Christians are intolerable or, you know, um, they hate uh, homosexuals because that's not the case. They hate the lifestyle. They, they, they and, hey, you gotta, you gotta. Brothers and sisters, you have to learn that God has a standard. Just like you won't just date anybody and you have standards, amen? God has standards too. God is looking for holy people. God is looking for a, a, a church without spot or blemish. You just can't come and expect to go to heaven just any old kind of way and just live your lifestyle, whether it be lying, adultery, fornication, uh, uh, bestiality. I can go on and on and on and on. It's just not homosexual, homosexuality, brothers and sisters. There's a lot of things that's going on in the body of Christ that... Uh, God is not pleased with. So, back to the dream. Listen, I'm going to keep it real on this channel. So, wh whether you feel offended or not, and you want to click off, that's your prerogative. But guess what? I'm a soldier for Christ. And I'm going to stand up for what is right in Jesus' name. I'm not playing any games. I know too much. I know too much. And I'm not saying this to say that I'm a Bible scholar. I'm not a Bible scholar. I'm not a, I'm not a preacher. I, I, I'm not, listen, I'm a servant of the Lord, and I'm learning, and I'm a student of Christ. I'm a student, and I'm a servant. And being a student and a servant... It is my duty to, 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 the word God says, preach the whole word, reach the lost. And, and with this little YouTube um, arena, if you would, I'm going to make sure that I am able to, even if I, like I said, I said it in the past, if I can reach one soul and make a difference, which will cause about deliverance, which will cause about you gearing back and you coming on home to Jesus where you belong. And so be it. Amen. So back to the dream. Amen. So I'm in this dream and I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, what I saw was rainbows everywhere. The rainbow flags. People, it was like, a, you, you ever see the, the homosexual parades where it's just a lot of people in, in the streets and they just carrying on and doing, doing what, 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 whatever the devil would love them to do. Amen. They had rainbows on the, the, the street post. They, it was like rainbow street. It, it was like rainbows everywhere. Rainbows on their, in, on their jackets. Rainbows on maybe the storefront. Rainbows uh, flags. Ra every place that they could possibly put a rainbow, it was the rainbow theme. And I walked in this place. And I was the only one that was not participating in that agenda, if you would. And you ever see, like I think it was... Um, you, ever, you ever see a, a show, I don't want to say the Blues Brothers, because back in the days we used to watch the Blues Brothers, and I think that I don't know if it was the Blues Brothers, but it was, it was something where, you know, you go into a place where, okay, you go into a place where it's like all one race, and then one person comes in, and then everybody of a different race, and then everybody turns around and looks at that person. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They were looking at me as an outcast. It was like everybody, God is so good. I'm just thinking about some things, like just the demonic presence was there, rampant, in the light of the Lord that I was walking with, and, and that was inside of me. They didn't like it. They looked at me. Because I was the only one there that was not participating in that agenda. And I, I just was walking down. And, and the way I was, I was trying to observe everything. And I just noticed that everything was, was dealing with rainbows. And I was just like, look at the devil. Look at the devil. And it reminded, it, it, I had a feeling that this had to do with the future. I had a feeling that this was like a future agenda. Like everything, if you're not down with that type of homosexual agenda, 
You had to be, you had to be, either you had, you were going to be fined, either you're going to be banished, outcast, killed, whatever, whatever the case was, you just felt that sense of, um, you're going to be in trouble if you're not down with them. Which, which probably remind me of like the Mark of the Beast when it's going to be in the future, where you got to stand up for Christ and your head's going to get chopped off. And I'm like, you know what, give me all my good side. If I'm around to, to be around that side, give me all my good side because by the time, you know, the, the guillotine comes down, I'm not going to feel it anyway. I'm going to be with Jesus. So I'm not afraid of that. Listen, I know things are coming. I know there's, there's going to be wars and rumors of wars. I, listen, if you ever read the book of Revelation, you know that it's going to get worse before it gets better. Brothers and sisters, we're going to have to stand up. It's going to be a part, it's going to be a time, brothers and sisters, where we literally have to stand up and show God the truth of who's who. Either you're with Jesus or you're with the devil, or either you're with the devil or the satanic, uh, Luciferian or, or, or Lunati, whatever. If you're down with that agenda, don't expect heaven. Don't expect to get saved. If you're going to, if you're going to go and stay there, because there's certain people that go to that arena and repent and live for, and live for God. There's people who have turned around. There were lesbians who turned around. There were homosexuals who turned around and gave their life for Jesus and preaching the good news. Yes. So don't tell me, Hashanda, don't tell me that God is not still working in the land of the living. He is working. He's doing things. He's doing great and mighty things. This goes out to the homosexual. This goes out to the lesbian. This goes out to the thief, the murderer. This goes out to the liar. This, this goes out to everybody who are in sin and are comfortable with it. Who are in sin? Who are going with the flow? This, is, this, is, this message goes out for those Christians who say they are Christians. And they say they love Jesus, but they live in with a man and a man. They live in with a woman and a woman. They live in a homosexual lifestyle. They live in a lesbian lifestyle. They call themselves Christians. Wake up. Don't be deceived by the devil. You're being deceived. The devil is a liar. You ever heard that saying? saying it? And I believe that the devil wants people to keep saying this. You ever, you ever heard somebody say, the devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. Think about what you're saying. That is absolutely incorrect. And I'll tell you why. You just said the devil is a liar. The devil's not a lie. He does exist. But the devil is a liar. He wants to deceive God's people. He's already deceived the Satan's people. So if they want to live in that cesspool, they have their reward coming. And I'm telling you, it's not a good one. So if you're out there rubbing elbows and being accepting of the gay agenda, the lesbian agenda, the LBT, if you're, you're accepting it and you call yourself a Christian and you're supposed to be standing up for truth, my brother, my sister, shame on you. You will be tested. And God is holding you accountable. Are you supposed to love him? Absolutely. Do you work with some of them? Probably. Some of them could be your neighbors. Or like I said, some people out there are your family members. You better show love to them. Absolutely. But you're not going to do this to their lifestyle. You have to tell them that they're in error before they burn for all eternity in Jesus' name. They are not true believers in, 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 in God. Because guess what? They are deceived by Satan himself. If they want to live and stay in that lifestyle and they don't have any repentance heart and knowing that, they, that, that the word of God is true, being a child of God is confessing out of your mouth and knowing in your heart that the word of God is true. So if you're telling me that the word of God is true, are you still living in sin and loving it? If you're watching porn right now, brothers and sisters, if you are living a satanic life and witchcraft and occult and looking at, you know, things that God is saying don't do it, and you call yourself a Christian, you better wake up. You better wake up and know that God has a standard and God is not playing games. And don't try to play it off and say, well, I didn't know about this and I didn't know about that. And, you know, I'm going to make a video on fearing the Lord. It has to do a lot, it has, to, it has a lot to do with respecting him too. Do you fear the Lord? Do you realize that God has a standard, brothers and sisters? Or are you just going with the flow, the cesspool of the world? That rainbow dream, brothers and sisters, had a lot to do with what was coming. And what side are you really gonna be on? I'm choosing Jesus Christ. Are you choosing Jesus Christ? Or are you gonna, just to not offend or just to be accepting? Come on, homosexual. Come on down. Without telling them and warning them. Like I said, love on them. But, but, a big disclaimer. Tell them the truth. Tell them that God has a standard and their lifestyle is not pleasing to God. And that they will not make heaven, whether they do, whether they, whether they are homosexual or they, they're living in sin, without repenting. Lord God is not playing games. You're serious, brothers and sisters, about your salvation. Stop trying to people please all the time. We people please a lot. We don't want to hurt people's feelings. Brothers and sisters, it's not about hurting people's feelings. It's about making sure they don't burn in hell. This is a hard message. A, a homosexual may be watching this. I want, you to, I want you to know what lesbian my, I want you to know that I love you. But you're in error. And if you keep this lifestyle up, God is going to deal with you.